Hello again today. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, flash your Amazon Fire Phone to CM11. The first thing I did is I went to reddit.com. Um, I found it through a Google search as you can see here. So if you go to Google and type Reddit Amazon Fire Phone CM11, you should be able to find that link. It's the very top one. So it's a very well written guide. I did it in a slightly different order than they did. What I did is I downloaded all the files. Um, all five of them to my PC and then from my PC I dragged and dropped them to my Amazon Fire Phone and, and the reason I did this is I first started out doing it straight to my phone without using a computer and uh, I think my phone went to a sleep mode on the big file the actual CM11 flash is like 221 megabytes my phone got to about 90 and then I think it just stopped downloading and went to sleep but I didn't know that happened. I thought it was all done. So when I went to reflash the phone and the file was corrupt, it gave me a good scare. <laughs> I mean, it worked out fine. But I mean, after I re-downloaded the file, I was able to get it working. But so anywho, what we're going to do here is the default location on Windows 7 or newer is the download folder. So you'll grab those five files that are in your downloads folder, and then you should be able to drag and drop them to the download folder on your Amazon Fire Phone. And now that that's complete, we're going to switch over to a video showing hands-on of the actual phone. Okay, so here we are on the Amazon Fire Phone. I'm going to unlock the screen. And starting from the home screen, I'm using ES File Explorer, which can be found in the Amazon App Store. So the first thing we need to do is install Kingroot. Oh, I skipped a step. Sorry about that. The first thing you need to do is go to Settings. And then you have to go to the applications. Okay. Oh, there it is. Allow non Amazon app installation. So the first thing you need to do is turn this on so that you can install, you know, side loaded apps. Okay. So let's go back to File Explorer. All right. Now I'm going to install Kingroot. Okay, and try to root, fingers crossed. I remember this taking a little bit. Okay, that finally finished. So now I'm going to reboot the phone. Hold the power button down, choose restart. Okay, so we got that installed, and now we can go on to the next step. We go back to File ES Explorer here, go to Downloads, and now we're going to install SafeStrap. Open. Uh, we're going to allow it root access, and I'm going to read through this lawyer talk. And I agree. Okay, so now we're going to install the recovery. I'm 
Okay, and at this point, because we've already copied all the files over to the phone, we should be clear to do the reboot to recovery. So we're doing the same steps as the guide on Reddit, but we're doing them in a slightly different order. Okay, so now here we are in this, and basically, because this is only my second time, I'm basically at this point following the guide on reddit.com. So first it says to do wipe. And you just slide that bar over. Okay. So now we go back. And the next step it says is to go to install. Oh, wait, did I get the right one there? Uh, okay, then we go to downloads. We choose CM11. We're going to add more zips. We're going to add, I believe it's Google Apps and super sue and then you should be able to pull that over now on my first phone I created a backup and just in case I wanted to go back to the original bin but on this phone, I'm not going to worry about it because I still have that backup from the other phone. But something you may want to do. But anywho, um, looks like it was successful, so let's hit reboot. And if everything works correctly, then it should boot up to CM11. There we are. So choose your language. And from here you can set it up. The you know, it's going to be pretty bare. Like it'll have the Play Store on there, but it won't have Hangouts or YouTube or Gmail or Maps or anything. But I had no trouble installing those. So if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. As you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. Just download all those files, drag and drop them to the download folder. Install King Root, install Safe Root, reboot, hit wipe, and then after that you can apply, you know, your your CM11. Um, I'm kind of planning on getting another Fire Phone, and the third one that I get, I'm gonna do some Slim Cat on it and see how that looks, because I haven't tried Slim Cat, and when I googled the difference between Slim Cat and CM11, people got offended. <laughs> you know that people even brought up the topic so I'll try Slim Cat next but it might be a little while so again if you have any questions or anything just let me know thanks for watching